इंट्रोडक्शन टू साउंड वेट वेट डोंट क्लोज द वीडियो द ऑडियो इन दिस लेसन इज एब्सोल्युटली फाइन आई जस्ट वांटेड टू शो यू व्हाट अ वर्ल्ड विदाउट साउंड वुड बी लाइक वाजंट इट अ लिटिल अनकंफर्टेबल आवर वर्ल्ड इज फिल्ड विद डिफरेंट साउंड्स एंड वी हैव द एबिलिटी टू रिकॉग्नाइज अ फ्यू ऑफ देम कैन यू रिकॉग्नाइज दिस साउंड यस विदाउट इवन सीइंग द लायन वी जस्ट रिकॉग्नाइज इट बाय द साउंड सो क्लियरली साउंड इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट इन आवर लाइफ Let's understand this better and learn some interesting things about it. How is sound even produced? If I stand here and do nothing, can you hear any sound? No, right. There has to be something that produces sound. Let's do an activity to see how we can produce sound. Get a plate and a spoon from your kitchen. Can you hear any sound right now? No, because we are not doing anything. Let me just touch the surface of this plate. I feel nothing. Do you feel anything? Now I am hitting it with the spoon. Now can you hear the sound? Yes. Now I hit it again and touch the plate. Can you feel something? I think the plate is vibrating. Do it again and check for yourself. We already know that a vibration is nothing but a back and forth motion. or a two and fro motion let me check the plate again when i hit it and then touch it i hear the sound till the vibration stops are you able to observe the same thing this means that vibration and sound are related let us see some more examples and conclude the relationship between vibration and sound let's pluck a guitar string and see what happens the sound is produced when the string vibrates Yes. I can easily see that it's vibrating. Let's do it again. Again, I hear the sound when the string is vibrating. Can you relate anything here? In these two cases, plate and guitar, sound is produced when an object vibrates. Let me show you this clearly with an example. Take a glass bowl and cover it with plastic wrap. Put some rice grains on it. Now keep a metal pan very close to the bowl. and hit the pan with a metal spoon what can you see why are these rice grains moving on the plastic wrap because of the sound produced from the metal pan the rice grains start jumping this means that sound is the energy that moves the rice grains and this proves that sound is also a form of energy vibrations from the pan made sound and the sound moved the rice grains try doing this by yourself and check so we know that vibration causes sound in cases like these vibrations are easily visible what about these sound can you see the vibrations that make these sounds we can hear the sound but the vibrations are so small that we cannot see them this happens with most of the sounds that we hear hit your bag tap your feet snap your fingers you don't see any vibrations here so vibrations are necessary to produce sound but we may or may not be able to see the vibrations great we have learned a few interesting things about sound now let's recap what we have learned today vibrating bodies produce sound vibration is a to and fro or a back and forth movement sound is a form of energy vibrations are visible in a few cases and not visible in most cases cool now that you know so much about sound i want you to closely observe bodies when sound is produced and check if they're vibrating or not we'll learn more interesting things about sound when we meet next time